In this video, we will introduce the safe talk off function of zero air erop rotary actuator based on the I.O. input signal. The safe talk off stop function is used in emergency stop situation and accidental starting prevention situation. When the SDO signal is triggered, it can immediately shut down the power supply to the motor and meanwhile engage in the brake. But the power supply to the drive will not be interrupted. First, the preparation of the above listed items for setting up a test platform. Among them, the 22 pin ISO single head terminal wire and the IO adapter board are produced by Zero Air and can be purchased separately. The IPO adapter board has built in resistors, which saves the need for manual installation of resistors and can be cascaded to the IO interface of the next actuator. It is recommended for easy connection. Second, let us do the wiring. We have soldered the 12 pin ISO single head terminal wire to the IO adapter board in advance. In order to demonstrate clearly, we only keep the lines of pin 3 to pin 6. Now we connect STO a positive pole and STO B positive pole in the 22 pin single head terminal wire to the positive pole of 24 volts. STO a negative pole and STO B negative pole are respectively connected to one side of the normally closed end of the two emergency stop switches. And the other side of the normally closed end is connected to the negative pole of the 24 volts power supply. Then install the switch box. Then, the 22 pin terminal is connected to the port of the I.O. adapter board. And the 12 pin terminal is connected to the I.O. signal interface of the EROB rotary actuator. Connect the CAN debugger to the EROB. Connect one end of the EtherCAT network cable to the RJ45 adapter and then connect to the EROB. And connect the other end of the EtherCAT network cable to the backhoff controller. We fix the emergency stop switch on the side of the base where the EROB and the load have been installed. And then turn on the E-Power and the 24 volts switching power supply. Connect to the E-Tunner software and open the I.O. interface. At this time, the status lights of DINO1 and DINO2 are on. Press the two emergency stop switches. The status lights of DINO1 and DINO2 are off. Reset the emergency stop switches. The status lights of DINO1 and DINO2 are on. And the I.O. signal input is valid, which indicates that the wiring is normal. Third, the configuration of the STO function. The STO function can be configured as one of STO or two of STO. Let us demonstrate the one of STO function. Set the DINO1 function to STOA. And set the STO configuration to to one of STO. Click apply and save in turn. And the parameter configuration is complete. Fourth, open the TrainCAD software that has connected the EROP and configured the motion parameters. Enter the NC motion control interface. Click set. Then click all to enable the EROP. Enter the target position 5 to 48800 and target speed 131072. And click F5 button. The EROB moves toward the target position. Now we press the emergency stop switch A and the DINO1 indicator light off. At this time, the EROB gives an alarm and the STO function is activated. The motor is disabled and shut down immediately. Click the error reset button F8. The alarm cannot be cleared and the motor cannot be enabled for motion. Fifth, the demonstration of two of STO function. Refer to the SDO wiring diagram for specific wiring methods. In the ISO interface, set the function of DINO1 to SDOA, set the function of DINO2 to SDOB, and set the SDO configuration to 3 to SDO. Click apply and save in turn, and the parameter configuration is completed. Reset the emergency stop switch A, then click the F8 button to clear the error and enable, click the F5 button, and the EROB will move towards the target position. Now we press the emergency stop switch A. And the DINO1 indicator light on the I.O. interface off. At this time, the EROB gives an alarm, and the STO function is activated. The motor is disabled and shut down immediately. Reset the emergency stop switch A. Click the F8 button to clear the error and enable it. And then click the F5 button to continue the EROB movement. Now we press the emergency stop switch B. The DINO2 indicator light on the I.O. interface off. At this time, the EROB gives an alarm, and the STO function is activated. The motor is disabled and shut down immediately. It can be seen that when configured as two of STO, closing any one of the two switches can activate the STO function. The above is the content of this video.